It's working? Yeah. All right. It's working. Oh my God, you are, you're almost like, what this kid doing a haircut on, you know? So we got Remy Doctor doing Jay's f***ing hair. Woohoo! Sorry, didn't mean to cut. What was your joke, Remy? <laughs> I give good head. No, you said, uh, be smiling, so... Oh, oh, yo, oh, smile first and after the haircut, cry. Okay? <laughs> 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 I'm messing with Except my aunt reassured me. <laughs> yeah, she gives Eric. awesome haircuts. Dang it, Eric, I told you. Okay. Too bad she's not good with short hair. <laughs> well, we can do short hair ourselves with the clippers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does mean. You would like this. Yeah, but it's them short hairs you gotta worry about. <laughs> <laughs> so you can be a long hair style, yeah? Yes. Okay. I can tell you, haircut hasn't been up yet. Really? Yeah. Well, this 24 year old did it for me. It's Ms. Remy. Was it a salon? No, it's Nick's wife. Good old Mr. Here. J here. He's, he's, he's got he's hair pins he's in his hair. He's a Russian pilot. A Russian pilot. That's Sir Hey, Jay. Yeah. Smile. Is it a good looking one? Well, he has a bald head. Oh, no. Who was your pilot? The good looking one. I asked you about him. He was, he was the one with the girlfriend. That wasn't going to get married because he was buying that. Oh, TJ. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your pilot, Eric? The Russian and the TJ. Yeah, you know the Russian. Nick. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I like him. Yeah, he's good. Funnier than. No, I don't. Yeah, he made a joke once. He says, the weather's getting bad, so hurry up and jump in the plane, otherwise we're swimming to Kodiak. <laughs> <laughs> he said that with the teachers and the principals, and they didn't like that. Oh, poor baby. So they complained about it, and so he had to write a letter of apology and give it to them. Really? Stop <laughs> it. Are you kidding me? No. Wow. He was like backing up. I'm cutting you here. And, and then he said, Oh, sorry, it was just a Russian joke. <laughs> or else we're swimming. Because <laughs> they thought it meant that they would crash. You know, the it's thing is, crash, you, you're getting anything that flies, man, there's a high possibility you're going down. Especially on a bad weather day. You know? I mean. Even though it's 12 minutes to Kodiak. I, I, 12 minutes. I still think it's a statistic that more people die from plane crashes than do do car accidents, don't they? I think that's a rumor. I think it's both. Because there's only a plane accident every day and there's like 12 accidents. Well, day. if you look at the quantity of people on the plane, I mean, you're talking maybe 747s in Africa. And well, yeah, Africa, their safety standards are really low. You know what I'm saying? I mean, That's they're Africa, they're using the worldwide country. statistics on that. They're not country. generalizing them to the Africa, U.S., are they? The flight attendants were still scrambling to their seats as if the jet was taking off. <laughs> <laughs> you the know? safety briefing wasn't even finished. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shut up. Oh, my no, gosh. true. I left Djibouti, headed for Egypt. That's what I saw. You went to Egypt? Well, I first went to Yemen, and then I went to Egypt. Do, when you're at uh, Egypt, you go to Cairo? Well, yeah, I went to Cairo. Met up with this girl who had the job, and I can only see her eyes. Oh, yeah, nice. you were talking about that. Yeah, okay. And she gave me the tour of the pyramids. That was the best thing ever. Nice. And I'd like when, to go back to Egypt one time. It'd be and then nice. when we were behind the pyramids and behind the sand dune, when no one could see us... You guys made up. I said, oh. can I see your face? <laughs> She and? Didn't, she wouldn't let me. Aww. You know why, don't you? She said nobody could see us, though. She Come didn't want to marry you. <laughs> well, she wanted to marry me eventually, but I said no. Why not? It's too much of an ordeal. Yeah, it is. I'd have to know everything about her, first of all. Really? That's why, that's why you marry people, so, um, persons, so and you get to know them. You know, it's a lifetime commitment. Yeah. Then you get to know them, that's how you do it. So then I went back a second time with this American girl. Uh -huh. And the day before I arrived, the girl in Egypt decided that she's gonna wear a different style so she, I could see her face, and but not her hair, so just the round one. So yeah, I was happy to see her face. <laughs> was it pretty? Most Egyptian girls are beautiful. Oh yeah. 
you know. She had a great personality. She spoke English great. Some of them are ugly too. Well, yeah. <laughs> no. There's some. Okay, I'm gonna go <laughs> up and over the ear. You want your sideburns above, like, really high, right? Yeah, are you, hairline. Are you gonna shave right here? Well, eventually, yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Once I get back to the lower 48, I can't have an Alaskan beard. Why not? Dude, the chicks love it. Let me tell you. Even in Seattle? Even in Seattle, dude. I got more women in Seattle having a scruffy old beard <laughs> than I did clean shaven. If you ever become a slut like him, okay, Jay? Okay, Eric's a bad example, maybe. He is a very bad example. I, I am the worst example for men there is in the world. Even though you're a few years older than me. <laughs> Quite a few. He is a bad example, okay? How many more years? You're what, 24? 25? <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Jay? Well, I look like I'm 18. Yeah, but how old are you? You don't look nowhere like you're 18. Well, how old do I look? I thought you were pretty much, I thought you were in your 30s. Actually. 30s? Yeah. As old as Eric? Yeah. How old are you, Jay? That's a secret, though. You are not a girl. Give it up. <laughs> Jay, 24. You are 24? So you're what? I'm 10 years 10 older years than older? you. I'm a decade ahead of you. Oh, well, what to do? Yeah. I'll be as old as you in 10 years. Right. <laughs> I'll still be 10 years older than you. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'll come ask you, how's 50 gonna be? You know, you'll have to write me and find out, man. Well, you got email? Yeah. Jim doesn't have email. He's way up. Does this thing record voice too? Oh, so shit. I'll just like throw out my email are here you, for you and actually, you can pick it up later. Okay, go. All your so it's S E A N 5432000 at yahoo.com. Oh, that's easy. I'll remember it. And you got it on your video here to reference it to if you need. And your phone number? Uh. Crap. Oh, you gave it once. 907-764-2532. You most likely have to leave a voicemail because I don't pick up if I don't see the number. So you're gonna go see your mom and dad when you get home first? Well, yeah, I go down to Las Vegas first. Drop off my extra luggage. Uh-huh. Then I go to Florida. Well, I first call them. Right. Then I go there. So what if you don't get the job then? What are you gonna do? Well, if there's a little delay, like we, I got this buddy pass, I can go to uh, Hawaii real quick and check out a job over there. Where in Hawaii? Hawaii, the Garden oh, Island. Hawaii? Okay. Nice. So there's this job where I could be a tour pilot around the island. It takes one hour and you can take tourists up and... Nice. Go fly around the island for an hour and come home, huh? Oh well, yeah, you do three or four of them per day. That'd be cool. It's weird seeing me like 10 years ago, dude. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. You guys really look alike, I'm not kidding you. It's really kind of weird, dude. Wouldn't it be fun if you guys were really related? You guys would be like your half-brothers? <laughs> Any part of your family come out of uh, Nebraska? No, Minnesota. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody in your family got the last name of Tanner? Tanner? No. Not yet. <laughs> nice. I don't think we're related, girl. I don't think so. <laughs> you guys never know? Uh, I don't know. You never know, but true. It's a very unlikely possibility. Are you really <laughs> videotaping his haircut? Oh my god! <laughs> Here, now I'll take a photo. There you go. Really? <laughs> Uh, it says so my tradition is I get a haircut in every country around the world I go to. So I got one in India, in Mexico, Chile, Egypt, Egypt. <laughs> yeah, the Egyptian one was pretty interesting. <laughs> they did a good haircut, didn't they? Oh yeah. Did you get threading them? Yeah, the one where they have two strings. Yep. Yeah, yeah, they did that. Yeah. First time ever. I didn't like, like it. it. Hurt. Yeah, it really hurt too. It burned my skin, right? Yeah, it burned you. my skin. <laughs> Because Sam was trying to do that to me, I told Sam, uh-uh, it hurt. She goes, oh, you've been a weenie. I said, no, it burns. Oh, yeah, I got a haircut in Iran, too. Nice. That was a good one. It did the shampoo, haircuts, blow dry, and then they also wanted to give cologne, I said, no. It's more like an oil, a fragranced oil. Yeah, kind of. Oh, the one in Colombia was good. She uh -huh. did a good job. Some of them go above and beyond. Yeah. 
give you the happy ending at the end? Well, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I call a haircut. Oh, wait, wait. The one in Iran, they wash your hair at the end. So uh -huh. all the little hairs are gone. Right, so you don't itch. I thought that was the best thing ever. Yeah. Instead of doing it at the beginning. Well, we have to do it for beginning because we can't touch the dirty hair. Well, what about that? Oh. Okay. It's, it's nothing That's a worse. Sanit Is that a U.S. thing? Yeah, it's a sanitation thing. Your, your hair has to be clean. No one does a wash at the end, right? Yeah, we do. The military guys, after oh, yeah. um, we get them doing their buzzing, you know, I always go take them back there and they end up... With a smile on their face. <laughs> I can't shut up. <laughs> 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 I give a good head. I said, "Come on back." <laughs> <laughs> Let's wash you off. <laughs> oh God, I'm demented. Yeah, usually it's a uh, women hairdresser, except in like male-dominated countries like India, where I was a male hairdresser. Right. Oh well, they have to be segregated. The women do the women's hair, and men do the women, men's yeah. hair. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that over in uh, Okinawa, and it was really odd having a guy throw his boobies in my face. Well, <laughs> Must have been. <laughs> okay, that's good for that. You can take a break from that. Oh, turn that off? Yeah. Ah, thank God. <laughs> How do I press stop? Uh...